Sorry about that, I didn't hear you come in. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my alchemy shop. It's a small shop, but I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Is it your first time visiting the store, or have you been here before? Oh, okay. Well, welcome. Welcome. I'm very happy to have you here. Um, feel free to take a look around, or if you had something specific in mind, anything I can help you with. Okay. Yes, I can 100% make you a personalized potion. Do you know what you want, or could you describe a little bit how you're feeling, and I can look through my hand and do the little potion for something to make for you. Okay. Oh, I see. So you've been feeling a lot of just out lately. Okay. Feeling like you know, maybe you don't belong there, you're not qualified. Okay. Well, I have just a potion in mind. So what you're experiencing is actually really common. Um, it is called imposter syndrome. I have made this potion for oof, so many of my clients and it has helped them a ton. Um, so I know you said you weren't really sure how to describe what you were feeling and maybe you were feeling a bit um, embarrassed to even, even admit it, but there's no need to feel embarrassed. So many people experience this and, you know, it really doesn't matter what skill level you have or maybe your work background, it can really affect anyone. So I had listed here some of the symptoms of imposter syndrome as feeling like a fraud, doubting your abilities, um, feeling maybe like you just don't belong there, worried that, you know, you got there just out of luck and not, you know, due to your own qualifications, um, fear that you won't live up to these expectations that everyone, maybe, you know, you have for yourself too. So I think that fits in, you know, really closely to what you're describing, would you agree? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it's great that you are looking to, uh, you know, seeking out help. It's very important. Um, if you leave it unchecked, imposter syndrome can lead to just a lot of self-sabotage um, and even anxiety and depression, so it's very important to get it taken care of, and I'm happy you're taking uh, the steps to do that. Um, so, basically, I will be putting together a potion for you, the three main ingredients. Um, well, there are three main ingredients. So the real base, I would say, um, the real um, core to the potion, I guess you could say, would be therapy. So the majority of what's going in your potion is going to be um, therapy. The other ingredient is going to be practicing and assessing your skills. And then we're also going to add um, a bit to stop comparing and to start sharing your feelings. So those are the three main ingredients. Um, like I said before, I've made this potion a bunch of times, so no biggie. Um, in the meantime, while I work on putting your potion together, do you want to take a look around? Um, 
Or would you rather stay here and chat with me while I work on your potion? You wanna watch? Okay, no problem. I normally perform, not perform, <laughs> I normally um, put together potions in the back, but I can 100% clear my space up here and work on it right in front of you. We can just chat a little bit. So let me just clear this up. It's been so windy today, looking like it's about to storm, so I need myself a cup of tea. Would you want another cup? I can make you one too. No? Okay, no problem. Alright, so let me clear this out. And start grabbing some of the different um, ingredients. So it made you want to stop by the store? Have you just kind of walked by it before and been interested in seeing what we have? Or maybe you know someone who's been here and recommended stopping by? Okay, yeah. No, I know we don't have a whole lot of alchemy shops around here, so I'm very happy you could stop by. Um, I'm just gonna put this over the table in case. So before we begin, I am going to have to give you the safe piece real. So we aren't doing anything crazy today. Um, nothing needs to be heated up, or you know we're not working with anything that could potentially you know um, cause any skin irritations or anything like that. So I would say the safety regulations for today are pretty um, bare. <laughs> but of course we're gonna have to put our hair up. Just in case, you know, normally you worry that if you have hair hanging, it can like catch on fire or something, but I just don't want any strands dipping in the potion. That could be gross. Do you have a hair tie? If not, I brought one. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, don't mind me. safety glasses. Um, like I said, we're really not working with anything crazy. I think even if this splashes and gets in our eyes, it won't be a big deal. But I think it's always important to practice safe, um, you know, safety. So I do have an extra pair. Okay, if I can go ahead and put that right on. Just great. Perfect. Okay. we're going to put therapy. So that is this one. So the main benefit to adding therapy to our potion is that it helps you analyze these, you know, core beliefs that you have about yourself and also help you get down to the root cause. You know, why do you believe this? Why do you think this way? So we need how much? Two cups. Wait, is it two cups? 
cups are one of one and a half cut up. Can barely read my own writing. Assessing your skills. I love this ingredient. I feel like it's one that people like therapy can often be hesitant when they see that in the ingredient list. I don't know what it is that people just don't like it or a little, maybe they're a little scared of it. Um, but basically this one is going to help you build confidence and just tackle that false negative narrative you have about yourself. If you're able to take a step back and really analyze your skills and maybe it for sure helps you just build confidence and realize like, well, wait a minute, maybe what I've thought this whole time is not true. doesn't mean that your way is wrong. And of course, this is also to start, you know, sharing your feelings. It's really easy to feel like you're alone and feeling this way, and that's just not true. And sharing your thoughts can actually help other people. Some people like, you know, watching me put together a potion. It just helps them feel a little bit more at ease instead of wondering, you know, what's in there. Um, or they just like hearing why each ingredient is important. So I'm happy you stayed. Again, 
I am so happy that you decided to stop by and really try to put a stop or find a solution to these feelings that you've been experiencing. Again, it is completely normal to feel this way. You are not alone, you're not weird, um, but obviously they're really, um, it's an annoying and uh, just uncomfortable experience or a thing to experience and I know it feels like oh my gosh, like I should be able to just overcome this but sometimes you need a little bit extra help so I really want to see you live your best life and that means accepting that you are more than good enough you are more than qualified enough you deserve all these good things that are happening to you. So, I hope that you follow the instructions you know, on the potion and take it every day. I am really confident that it will help you out. You deserve to, you know, feel um, happy and like you deserve all these accomplishments that you've done so I am super proud of you and I hope you will stop by the store again and give me an update on how you feel or if you want to go ahead and buy something else okay so don't forget your bag with your potion and please have a safe night I'll see you soon